Hi there, you're watching The Break. I'm Tracy Thompson. So this week in Nigeria has brought about the discussion of what many are calling a scandal involving President Buhari's 2016 budget, which according to many media reports includes excess monies to pay for an unnecessary and over-the-top lifestyle for public officials running the country. The budget, which has been a controversial document since its initial unveiling in December of 2015, remember the entire disappearing of the budget? Well, it's showing Buhari government budgeting for some 6 trillion naira that's about 30 billion US dollars more than double the amount of good luck Jonathan's 2015 budget but what is all that money being budgeted for right that's a good question well according to several Nigerian media outlets the budget is a complete mess and many are criticizing some of the unjustifiable requests within the budget like nearly 5 million naira which is to be spent on books for vice president Austin Bajo's office that's more than what any of the country's policy technic schools are receiving at the moment. There's a budget for rent at the presidential villa, with many asking who would President Buhari be paying rent to? More than 9 billion naira will get the Buhari administration a new fleet of vehicles, and what's being criticized the most is the repetitive allocation for the same departments, such as Federal College in Fisheries and Marine Technology. Could it be an era? Buhari, though, has included 500 billion naira for social welfare packages to vulnerable persons through throughout the country, that's a good thing. It has been revealed by a presidential top aide that a so-called budget mafia snuck in frivolous items into the budget, increasing the amount to nearly 10 billion naira. President Buhara vows to arrest those who would be responsible, but there has been no discussion of any budget changes. In December of 2015, President Buhari presented his budget of change. Then, Buhari said that he would adopt a zero-based budgeting approach, which would mean more focus on what departments actually need rather than keeping expenses from previous budgets. The budget has passed its second reading and expected to be put into law this month. You can also expect to see the budget in its entirety online very soon. You just had your news update with the break. I'm Tracy Thompson. Thanks for watching.